The Legacy of Andrew Jackson, a complex figure in American history. Today, we delve into the fascinating life and legacy of one of America's most controversial figures, Andrew Jackson. Born in 1767 in the backcountry of the Carolinas, Jackson rose to prominence as a military hero during the War of 1812 and later became the seventh president of the United States, serving from 1829 to 1837. His presidency left an indelible mark on American politics, society, and history, but it's a legacy rife with complexities and contradictions. Early life, Jackson's upbringing in the frontier of the Carolinas shaped his character and worldview. Orphaned at a young age, he faced hardships that instilled in him resilience and determination. Frontier Upbringing Andrew Jackson was born on March 15, 1767, in the Waxhaws region, a border area between North and South Carolina. The exact location of his birth remains disputed, with both states claiming him as a native son. Jackson's upbringing was marked by poverty and hardship. His father died before his birth, and his mother, Elizabeth Jackson, struggled to provide for her family. Raised in the harsh environment of the frontier, Jackson developed a resilient and self-reliant spirit that would characterize much of his life. Education and Early Career Jackson received sporadic education, primarily through self-directed study and brief stints at local schools. At the age of 13, he enlisted in the militia during the American Revolutionary War, serving as a courier. Jackson's experiences during the war, including his capture and mistreatment by British soldiers, left a lasting impression on him, shaping his views on honor and patriotism. Military Career Jackson's military career, particularly his leadership during the Battle of New Orleans in 1815, catapulted him to national fame. His victories against the British earned him widespread admiration and the nickname Old Hickory. Rising through the ranks. Following the Revolutionary War, Jackson pursued a legal career and eventually moved to Tennessee, where he established himself as a successful lawyer and landowner. His military career gained momentum during the War of 1812, where he distinguished himself as a militia commander in the Creek War and later as a major general in the U.S. Army. Battle of New Orleans Jackson's most famous military triumph came during the Battle of New Orleans in January 1815, where he led American forces to a decisive victory against the British. Despite being outnumbered, Jackson's strategic prowess and the tenacity of his troops repelled the British assault securing a crucial victory that boosted American morale and earned Jackson national acclaim. The Battle of New Orleans elevated Jackson to the status of a national hero, propelling him onto the political stage and laying the groundwork for his eventual presidency. Character Traits and Leadership Style Toughness and Determination Jackson's early life on the frontier instilled in him a rugged toughness and a fierce determination to overcome obstacles. His experiences in warfare further hardened his resolve, earning him a reputation for fearlessness and resilience on the battlefield. Leadership Style Jackson was known for his decisive leadership style and his ability to inspire loyalty and devotion among his troops. He led by example, often sharing in the hardships endured by his soldiers and earning their admiration and respect. Andrew Jackson's early life and military career laid the foundation for his subsequent rise to political prominence. Shaped by the hardships of the frontier and tempered by the crucible of war, Jackson emerged as a formidable leader with a fierce determination to defend his country and its principles. His experiences on the battlefield would profoundly influence his approach to governance as president shaping his views on issues of national defense, executive power, and the role of the common man in American society. The rise of Jacksonian democracy, post-war era. Following the War of 1812, the United States experienced a period of profound transformation and growth, both territorially and economically. The influx of settlers into Western territories and the expansion of suffrage 
led to calls for greater political participation and representation. Era of Good Feelings The presidency of James Monroe, 1817-1825, is often characterized as the era of good feelings, marked by a sense of national unity and political consensus. However, beneath the surface, deep divisions simmered over issues such as economic policy, westward expansion, and the role of the federal government. Principles of Jacksonian Democracy Expansion of Suffrage Jacksonian democracy advocated for the expansion of voting rights to include a broader segment of the population, particularly white male property owners. State constitutions were amended to eliminate property qualifications for voting, leading to a significant increase in the number of eligible voters. Anti-establishment sentiment Jacksonian Democrats portrayed themselves as champions of the common man against entrenched political elites and special interests. They criticized the perceived corruption and cronyism of the political establishment, advocating for greater transparency and accountability in government, states' rights, and limited government. Jacksonians emphasized the primacy of states' rights and the limited role of the federal government in regulating economic and social affairs. They viewed the federal government, particularly the Second Bank of the United States, as a threat to individual liberty and economic opportunity. Jackson's Presidency Election of 1828 Andrew Jackson's victory in the presidential election of 1828 signaled the ascendancy of Jacksonian democracy to the highest office in the land. His appeal to the common man, his military heroism, and his promises of political reform resonated with voters, securing him a decisive victory over incumbent John Quincy Adams. Democratic Reforms Jackson's presidency ushered in a series of democratic reforms aimed at empowering ordinary citizens and dismantling entrenched power structures. He implemented the spoils system, whereby political supporters were rewarded with government positions in an effort to decentralize power and ensure loyalty. Legacy and Impact Widening Participation Jacksonian democracy expanded the political franchise and fostered greater political participation among white males, thereby democratizing American society. However, it also perpetuated racial and gender exclusions, as voting rights remained restricted to white men. Enduring Influence Despite its limitations and contradictions, the legacy of Jacksonian democracy endures in American politics and culture. Its emphasis on populism, individualism, and states' rights continues to shape debates over the role of government and the nature of democracy in the United States. Jacksonian democracy represented a seismic shift in American politics, ushering in an era of greater political participation and popular sovereignty. While it championed the cause of the common man and expanded suffrage, it also reflected the limitations and contradictions of its time, particularly regarding issues of race and gender. Nevertheless, its legacy remains deeply ingrained in the fabric of American democracy, serving as a reminder of the ongoing struggle to balance individual liberty with the collective good. Indian Removal and the Trail of Tears In the early 19th century, as American settlers pushed westward, Conflicts arose between Native American tribes and white settlers over land and resources. The federal government pursued a policy of Indian removal to clear the way for white settlement and secure control over valuable lands. Indian Removal Act of 1830 Signed into law by President Andrew Jackson, the Indian Removal Act authorized the relocation of Native American tribes from their ancestral lands in the southeastern United States to unsettled territories west of the Mississippi River. The act was justified on grounds of national security and the belief in the superiority of white civilization. Implementation Forced Relocation The implementation of the Indian Removal Act led to the forced relocation of several Native American tribes, including the Cherokee, Choctaw, Chickasaw, Creek, and Seminole. These tribes were uprooted from their homelands and forcibly marched hundreds of miles to Indian territory, 
present-day Oklahoma. Trail of Tears The most notorious episode of Indian removal was the Trail of Tears, referring specifically to the forced relocation of the Cherokee Nation. In 1838, under the authority of President Martin Van Buren, approximately 15,000 Cherokee were forcibly removed from their lands in Georgia and surrounding states. The Cherokee were forced to march westward in harsh winter conditions, with inadequate provisions and little regard for their well-being. Thousands perished along the journey from exposure, disease, and starvation, making the Trail of Tears one of the darkest episodes in American history. Opposition and Resistance Cherokee Nation versus Georgia The Cherokee Nation challenged their removal in the Supreme Court case Cherokee Nation v. Georgia, 1831, arguing that they were a sovereign nation entitled to protection under federal law. However, the Supreme Court ruled against the Cherokee, denying their claims to sovereignty and upholding the authority of the state of Georgia to enforce removal. Resistance and Resilience Despite facing overwhelming odds, many Native American tribes resisted removal efforts through legal challenges, diplomatic negotiations, and in some cases, armed resistance. While some tribes, like the Cherokee, were forcibly removed, others managed to negotiate treaties, allowing them to remain on their ancestral lands, albeit under diminished sovereignty. Legacy and Impact Human Tragedy The Indian removal policy and the Trail of Tears resulted in immeasurable suffering and loss for Native American communities leading to the deaths of thousands of men, women, and children. The trauma and devastation inflicted upon Native American tribes continue to reverberate through generations, leaving a deep and enduring scar on the nation's conscience. Violation of Human Rights The forced removal of Native American tribes violated their basic human rights and principles of justice, reflecting a broader pattern of dispossession and oppression against indigenous peoples. The Trail of Tears stands as a stark reminder of the injustices perpetrated against Native Americans in the name of territorial expansion and national progress. The Indian Removal Policy and the Trail of Tears represent a dark chapter in American history, marked by the forced displacement and suffering of Native American tribes. While justified as a means of promoting westward expansion and securing national interests, the policy resulted in profound human tragedy and violated the fundamental rights of indigenous peoples. As we confront the legacy of Indian removal, it is incumbent upon us to acknowledge the injustices of the past and work towards healing and reconciliation with Native American communities. Banking and Economic Policies Andrew Jackson's presidency was also notable for his banking and economic policies, which had significant implications for the nation's financial system and economic development. Background Second Bank of the United States Established in 1816, the Second Bank of the United States was chartered by Congress to regulate the nation's money supply and oversee monetary policy. Modeled after its predecessor, the First Bank of the United States, the Second Bank held considerable influence over the nation's economy and banking system. Economic Challenges During Jackson's presidency, the nation experienced economic volatility, including inflation, speculation, and periodic financial panics. Jackson and his supporters viewed the Second Bank as a symbol of elite privilege and centralized power, which they believed undermined economic opportunity for ordinary citizens. Bank War, Jackson's Opposition Jackson harbored deep-seated suspicions of banks and financial institutions, rooted in his personal experiences and political ideology. He viewed the Second Bank as a tool of the wealthy elite and a threat to individual liberty and economic independence. Nullification Crisis Jackson's opposition to the Second Bank culminated in a constitutional crisis with the state of South Carolina, which sought to nullify federal tariffs it deemed oppressive. Jackson responded forcefully, declaring nullification unconstitutional 
and threatening to deploy military force to enforce federal law. Destruction of the Bank In 1832, Jackson vetoed the recharter of the Second Bank, effectively sealing its fate and setting the stage for its eventual demise. He then initiated a campaign to dismantle the bank, withdrawing federal deposits and transferring them to state-chartered pet banks. Economic Impact Economic Instability Jackson's assault on the Second Bank contributed to economic instability and financial uncertainty, leading to widespread speculation and inflation. The withdrawal of federal funds from the bank exacerbated credit shortages and exacerbated economic fluctuations. Panic of 1837 The culmination of Jackson's banking policies, combined with external factors such as the collapse of speculative bubbles and an international economic downturn, led to the Panic of 1837. The Panic triggered a severe depression, marked by bank failures, unemployment, and widespread hardship for ordinary Americans. Legacy and Controversies Mixed Assessments Jackson's banking policies elicit mixed assessments from historians and economists, reflecting differing interpretations of their impact on the economy. While praised by some for championing the interests of the common man and decentralizing financial power, Jackson's actions also contributed to economic instability and the exacerbation of financial crises. Long-Term Implications The demise of the Second Bank of the United States marked a significant turning point in American financial history, paving the way for the proliferation of state-chartered banks and the decentralization of banking power. Jackson's legacy in economic policy remains a subject of debate, with ongoing discussions about the appropriate balance between government regulation and free market principles in shaping the nation's financial system. Andrew Jackson's banking and economic policies left a profound imprint on American history, shaping the trajectory of the nation's financial system and influencing debates over economic policy for generations to come. While celebrated by some for challenging entrenched financial interests and promoting economic democracy, Jackson's policies also contributed to economic instability and exacerbated the hardships endured by many Americans during times of financial crisis. As we evaluate Jackson's legacy in economic policy, it is essential to consider both the intended goals and unintended consequences of his actions, recognizing the complexities inherent in shaping the nation's economic future. Legacy and Controversies Andrew Jackson's legacy is a subject of considerable debate and controversy, reflecting the complexities of his presidency and the lasting impact of his policies on American society. Strengthening the Presidency Jackson's presidency is often cited as a pivotal moment in the evolution of the executive branch, with his vigorous exercise of presidential power expanding the authority and influence of the presidency. He asserted the primacy of executive prerogative and pursued an assertive agenda setting precedents for future presidents to assert their authority in matters of policy and governance. Populist Democracy Jacksonian democracy ushered in an era of greater political participation and representation, broadening the franchise and empowering ordinary citizens in the political process. His appeal to the common man and emphasis on individual rights and liberties resonated with a wide swath of the American electorate leaving a lasting legacy of populism in American politics. Territorial Expansion Jackson's policies of westward expansion and Indian removal contributed to the territorial expansion of the United States, opening up vast new territories for settlement and economic development. The acquisition of new territories, including Florida and parts of the Southwest, reshaped the geographic and demographic landscape of the nation, laying the groundwork for future expansion and manifest destiny. Controversies Treatment of Native Americans Jackson's policies of Indian removal, most notably culminating in the Trail of Tears, remain one of the most contentious aspects of his presidency. The forced relocation of Native American tribes resulted in widespread suffering, death, 
and the dispossession of ancestral lands, leaving a legacy of trauma and injustice that continues to reverberate in Native American communities. Expansion of Slavery Jackson's presidency witnessed the expansion of slavery into new territories, exacerbating tensions over the issue of slavery and fueling sectional conflict. His support for policies such as the annexation of Texas and the extension of slavery into Western territories further entrenched the institution of slavery, contributing to the deepening divide between North and South. Authoritarian Tendencies Critics of Jackson point to his authoritarian tendencies and disregard for constitutional norms, particularly in his actions during the nullification crisis and his confrontations with the judiciary. His aggressive use of presidential power, including his frequent exercise of the veto and his defiance of Supreme Court rulings, raised concerns about the erosion of checks and balances and the concentration of power in the executive branch. Assessments Mixed Perspectives Jackson's presidency elicits a wide range of assessments, reflecting the complex interplay of his achievements, controversies, and contradictions. While celebrated by some as a champion of democracy and a symbol of American strength and resilience, others condemn his policies as morally indefensible and detrimental to the nation's long-term interests. Reckoning with History Jackson's legacy prompts ongoing debates and discussions about the nature of American democracy, the treatment of marginalized communities, and the balance of power in government. As the nation grapples with its past and seeks to reckon with the legacies of injustice, Jackson's presidency serves as a reminder of the enduring challenges and complexities of American history. Andrew Jackson's presidency leaves a complex and contested legacy characterized by achievements, controversies, and enduring questions about the nature of American democracy and governance. As we assess his presidency, it is essential to acknowledge both his contributions and his shortcomings, recognizing the enduring impact of his actions on American society and the ongoing relevance of his presidency in shaping debates over the nation's past, present, and future. Andrew Jackson remains a complex and polarizing figure in American history. While celebrated as a symbol of democracy and the common man, his presidency is also marked by controversy, particularly regarding his treatment of Native Americans and his economic policies. Understanding Jackson's legacy requires grappling with these complexities and recognizing the enduring impact of his actions on the nation. Thank you for your time. Be sure to like and subscribe if you like this video.